Mitochondria are unique organelles that are surrounded by two membranes, an outer and inner membrane. The outer mitochondrial membrane gives the organelle its characteristic kidney bean shape. The inner mitochondrial membrane, called the Christi, is highly folded and incredibly rich in surface area. It contains many enzymes responsible for carrying out the reactions of aerobic cellular respiration, where glucose is metabolized into ATP molecules that the cell needs for energy. The fluid-filled center of the mitochondria is called the matrix. It also contains many chemicals and enzymes that help with aerobic cellular respiration. The numerous ribosomes in the mitochondria carry out the organelle's high demand for protein synthesis. The function of the mitochondria is primarily power generation. Think of them as the power plants of the cell, the mighty mitochondria, that are producing chemical energy in the form of ATP for all of the cell's energy needs. Muscle and nerve cells, which have higher energy demands, contain more mitochondria than cells with lower energy needs. The structure of mitochondria, which are about the size of a bacterial cell, is another excellent lesson in how life is folded. The folded Christi membranes pack in a tremendous amount of surface area, by some estimates enough to cover a ping pong table. These membranes are embedded with the various enzymes and membrane proteins that carry out the energy generating reactions of cell respiration. The more membranes that can be folded into this tiny organelle, the more ATP can be generated for the cell. Lysosomes are specialized organelles that carry out the digestive and recycling needs of the cell. They have a simple structure consisting of a single membrane that surrounds a specialized collection of digestive chemicals. The prefix lyso means to burst or to break. Lyso is also the basis for the word Lysol, the familiar household disinfectant that is sprayed to destroy pathogens like bacteria, which you can use to help remember the function of this organelle. Lysosomes store these digestive chemicals, including hydrolytic enzymes, which break down larger macromolecules, bacteria, and debris into smaller building blocks and nutrients that can be recycled in the cell. Think of the lysosomes as microscopic stomachs that digest chemical substances through various decomposition reactions within their specialized membranes. Lysosomes function in an assortment of digestive activities within the cell. They are the main digestive bodies that fuse with incoming feeding vesicles called phagosomes. Here is a lysosome that's combining with a phagosome containing bacteria that the white blood cell is ingesting through the process of phagocytosis. Cells have the ability to use their lysosomes to recycle their dead, worn out, unusable organelles that are past their prime, such as the mitochondrion shown here. This process is called autophagy, a self-recycling system that frees up the chemical building blocks in the cellular debris and releases them back into the cytoplasm where they can be reused in the synthesis of new organelles, membranes, and other vital cellular components. Apoptosis, also called autolysis, is a type of programmed cell death where the cell's lysosomes self-destruct and their hydrolytic digestive enzymes flood into the cytoplasm, causing the cell to die. This is a common process that occurs billions of times a day in adult cells and is performed extensively during embryological development, as well as nuclear degradation or breakdown. Peroxisomes are another organelle, like the lysosomes, that performs digestive functions within cells. Peroxisomes are single membrane-bound organelles storing a collection of about 50 different enzymes and oxidants that break down a variety of organic wastes. Peroxisomes may also contain a crystalline core that contains oxidative enzymes. 
One enzyme found in peroxisomes is catalase, which neutralizes hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, a common metabolic waste product of chemical pathways, including the digestive reactions inside the peroxisome, converting it into water and oxygen. Peroxisomes also help digest amino acids and fatty acids, which are used to make cell membranes or are converted to ATP by mitochondria, as well as waste products and toxins.